When it comes to Armenia at the beginning of the 21st century, we know that any discussion touches upon some critically important points. Turkey, Russia, the geopolitical situation of Caucasus, some probably key aspects of the future regarding uh, the region, safety, security issues, everything is here. Armenian-Turkish relations are the first issue. We welcome the initiatives of the President of Armenia for normalization of relations without preconditions. We consider that the protocol signed on the 10th of October 2009 supposed an important mutual compromise. By the protocols, Armenia would have recognized the border between the two states and would not demand an immediate recognition of the genocide by Turkey. Turkey, in turn, would not mention the Nagorno-Karabakh issue, and this could be derived from the text of the protocols. The second issue concerns Nagorno-Karabakh. In the recent period, the negotiations have been rather intensive, and that is very welcomed. In 2009, presidents of Armenia and Azerbaijan met six times. Within the OSCE Minsk group, intensive work has been going on, with the Madrid principles on the negotiation table. Here, there are three fundamental principles. Territorial integrity, the right to self-determination, and peaceful conflict resolution. Uh, with the European neighborhood policy issue was like purely on the state uh, relationship and EU. The all reforms has been dependent on the direct negotiation between state institutions and uh, European Union structures. Now with the Eastern Partnership, that institution of civil society that has been invented uh, was kind of a welcomed back by the whole public because if the public is not engaged in the process of reforms, uh, no reforms will take place in reality. The will of the regional players is sufficient to keep the rapprochement alive and kick it back into action in some point. Should the project really fail, the entire region will end up even worse than it uh, had been prior to the launch of rapprochement. A failed regional normalization project will certainly throw the whole region back in many ways. Judging from history, borders do not stay sealed forever. They open at some point, that's why they are called borders, not walls. However, timing matters for Armenia and for the rest of the region. So in terms of where are we, we are in a temporary timeout, if you will, that is actually convenient for both sides. Mainly because there is a fundamental division between the Armenian and Turkish views of the issue. There is a difference in both time and context. From the Armenian point of view, Armenian patience is not without limit. It's not infinite. We cannot wait forever for Turkey to make up its mind what it wants. Sometimes we, we, really, we are really confused, or not even confused, but we are really very unhappy about how much the external actors can close their eyes, for example, on falsified elections by having European and other international observers uh, stating that everything has been done in accordance to uh, international standards and when it's needed, when the, the momentum is just different, they can use the pressure and manipulate with the, the facts that, you know, elections are falsified in your country. And, you know, if you make a compromise, well, it wouldn't be uh, the first priority in our agenda for criticism. Presidential elections, um, which uh, were mentioned uh, a number of times, of 2008, um, followed by violent suppression of demonstrations, um, death of 10 people, uh, appearance of political prisoners for the first time uh, in many years, um, changing of legislation in, towards a uh, more autocratic regime, um, suppression of freedoms. Um, indeed, uh, indeed uh, played a very cr critical role in the recent history of Armenia. What is media landscape in Armenia? It is uh, quite um, common uh, situation for the post-Soviet countries. In many countries, we have similar situation. I mean, the formula is the same. Uh, the print media is more or less diverse, and online media also. 
However, print media reflects uh, very much the partisan approaches to, to the uh, events and uh, covers the, the situation in the country uh, coming from a narrow uh, political uh, interests of this or that party, though very diverse political interests. 